Some channels have been caught questionably advocating the use of a product called Vuplex on Dyson machines, which has the potential to cause serious damage. Vuplex is a plastic polish and is seen being used as part of completely unnecessary maintenance or cleaning of the product. Many channels frequently advise unnecessary maintenance of these popular products that at best is a total waste of time and in no way improves performance and at worst jeopardises the product's health. This is a perfect example. The only maintenance required is outlined in the manual and for Dyson products only involves emptying the bin, rinsing the filters and occasionally checking for excess tangled hair on the brush bar. But videos advocating the use of Vuplex are particularly dangerous because it's possible that Vuplex could cause catastrophic failure of rubber parts. This puts innocent viewers at unnecessary risk of damaging the machines. Vuplex contains the chemical 222-butoxyethoxyethoxyethanol, which is also known as triethylene glycol monobutyl ether, as you can verify in the first link in the description. This is a known solvent for chlorinated rubbers, as can be confirmed in the second link in the description. Some Dyson machines may contain rubber seals, which may be susceptible to being dissolved by this product. If this was the case, you'd expect to see rubber seals in the regions where videos have shown Vuplex being used to disintegrate and fail. And such seal failures have been observed in some videos shortly following the use of Vuplex. Worse still is if these machines come from known Dyson brand haters who claim they intend to send the machines back after initial use. Such videos appear to break the machines through the use of Vuplex, claim it was a product failure, send it back as pre-planned, leading to a cost hit for Dyson, which then leads to the spawning of propaganda that Dyson machines are poorly built and easily fail. It's really disgusting to see. All the time, it might have been their fault for doing unnecessary maintenance with potentially corrosive solvents. This would not be respectable or in the spirit of YouTube, and it wouldn't be unreasonable for culprits to be called out for such disservice to innocent viewers who might otherwise not realise this could put their machines at risk. Anyone advocating maintenance other than what the manual advises is necessary should be called out and challenged, no matter how popular they might be. It's all too common from dodgy sources of misinformation. Never do unnecessary maintenance. As the old saying goes, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Don't be misled by overzealous screwdriver warriors that litter YouTube. I hope you learned something from this video, and thanks for watching.